Finding one of the best 3D printers depends heavily on what you're looking for and how experienced you are with 3D printing. From simple machines aimed at beginners to more advanced printers that can produce models and prototypes, you've got plenty of choices. And that can be very intimidating if you're not sure where to get started. In this guide, you'll find 3D printers at different price ranges, meaning there's likely one that fits your budget as easily as it fits your level of expertise. In today's video, we will be showing you best 3D printers that can print in 3D. Without further ado, let's begin. Monoprice Voxel If you're looking to get started in 3D printing, the Monoprice Voxel 3D printer is a great choice, as it delivers high-quality prints without costing you a fortune. Novices will particularly appreciate the heated print base on the Vox, which means more reliable prints when you use materials like ABS. The top of the print bed slides out too, and it's bendable, so removing prints is a snap. You may run into some minor frustrations with setup, but once it's up and running, the MP Voxel is the best 3D printer for people who want to experience 3D printing for the first time. Prusa Mini Plus The Prusa Mini Plus 3D printer is a terrific option if you're just getting started in 3D printing because of its quality and reliability right out of the box. It's more expensive than competing printers aimed at novices, and it's a little bit harder to track down these days, but don't let that dissuade you from giving the Prusa Mini Plus a try. Well-designed software walks you through the process of preparing your model for printing. And when it is time to print, the Prusa Mini Plus performs relatively quickly at the 0.2 mm quality print mode. Though pricier than most beginning printers, the Prusa Mini Plus doesn't make you jump through a lot of hoops to get your printer calibrated and set up. Formlabs Form 3 Plus Resin-based printers have seen a lot of competition from lower-priced devices in recent years, but the Form 3 Plus from Formlabs remains the device of choice if 3D printing is a regular part of your workflow. This new version churns out prints faster than before, and it's much easier to use than before. Loading up resin is simple, and a floating level sensor keeps close tabs on how much resin is in the print tray, controlling the flow so that just the right amount is used on each job. A more flexible build platform simplifies the task of removing prints. At a starting price of $3,499, the Form 3 Plus is not for everybody, but this 3D printer easily meets the demands of designers who need a steady flow of good-looking prints. Monoprice Delta Mini V2 to get started in 3D printing for less than $200, look no further than the Monoprice Delta Mini V2. It's an affordable printer that's still fully featured and delivers excellent print quality for the price. You'll make some compromises like a small build volume, even compared to other budget 3D printers like the DaVinci Nano. But you do get support for a wide variety of materials, with the Monoprice Delta Mini V2 able to handle PLA. ABS, and other materials. You don't often see this kind of flexibility in an entry-level device. It's hard to beat the value of the Monoprice Delta Mini V2, especially for people just getting started in 3D printing. Photon Mono X As good as Form 3 is, it's very expensive. Printers like the now sold-out Peebly Phenom brought down the price of SLA printing somewhat, but the Photon Mono X offers an even cheaper entry. Even better, the results are pretty impressive. 3D printing enthusiasts will appreciate the large print area, 331 cubic inches. That's particularly impressive given the Photon Mono X's comparatively small size. It's only 18 inches tall and a little more than 11 inches wide, so it will fit easily into a home workshop or similar setting. SLA printing remains a messy, smelly business. But the Photon Mono X helps bring down the cost of this process without forcing you to make too many compromises. Flash Forge Adventurer 4 When you're ready to step up beyond 3D printers for beginners, look to the Flash Forge Adventurer 4. It offers a relatively fuss-free printing experience with minimal quirks and complications. The Adventurer 4 comes with swappable print nozzles for controlling the layer size of your prints as well as handling different temperatures. That makes this one of the more flexible 3D printers we've tested, as the Adventurer 4 is capable of handling a wide variety of printing materials. Even better, 
at less than $1,000, you get a very polished printer without having to spend big bucks. XYZ Da Vinci Nano With the monoprice Delta Mini V23D printer now available, the Da Vinci Nano from XYZ Printing can no longer boast that it's the best inexpensive 3D printer around. Still, it's a good bargain if you can find the Da Vinci Nano for around $200. That may take some doing, as the printer is in seemingly short supply these days. The Da Vinci is relatively compact, about the size of a bread maker, but it has a generous forward size build area of 4.7 inches on all sides. That's bigger than what Monopris's budget printer offers. There's a door to close off the print area and block out some of the noise from printing. But be aware that opening the door doesn't stop the printing process. A wireless version, the Da Vinci Nano W, is available at the XYZ printing site, opens a new tab, for around $250. Free Doodler Create Plus If you want to take 3D printing into your own hands, we recommend the 3 Doodler Create Plus. This handheld pen lets you create 3D objects as easily as you would with a standard pen and paper. You'll also find hundreds of stencils from 3 Doodler that can help you design toys, animal models, and other architectural designs. There's a $19.99 kit that features additional nozzles for changing the layer size and texture of your model. 3D pens typically attract younger users, and the sized and simple controls of the 3 Doodler Create Plus is the right size for tiny hands. You'll find yourself reloading the pen frequently, as the 3 Doodler Create Plus uses shorter filaments. But overall, this is a very good experience for people who want to find a creative way to design small objects. Toybox 3D Printer There are more sophisticated 3D printers out there than the Toybox 3D Printer. But as an introduction to 3D printing, this device will appeal to young makers looking to flex their creative muscles, and they'll get to produce toys as part of the bargain. Using the Toybox 3D Printer, you can create small toys. You're limited to prints that are around 3 inches on each side. The controls are simple to operate, and the printer maker make. Toys include a selection of free toy templates that you can use to get started. You're also able to modify designs or even upload your own, adding to the creativity that this printer can spark. Anacubic Photon M3 The Anacubic Photon M3 makes expensive SLA printers a thing of the past with a price tag that's less than $300. You're not getting a second-rate 3D printer with that price, either. The Photon M3 produces good quality prints with excellent detail and barely visible layers. Setting up the 3D printer is fairly straightforward, too. Despite the low price, this may not be the best introduction to resin printing, as the software for preparing prints is a little quirky and requires some trial and error. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.